I know what you're thinking. How much money does YouTube pay per 1,000 views? And why did my YouTube revenue go up in the three months after I became YouTube monetized? I got an insane number of views for the last video I made on how much I get paid for having 1,000 subscribers. And in this video, again, I'm going to show you absolutely everything. All the video statistics in my YouTube studio dashboard, the estimated revenue each month. Plus, I'm going to show you the actual program that YouTube uses to judge your thumbnails. Yeah. Google can tell exactly what emotions you give to your viewers and you can try it out for yourself on your own thumbnails. By the way, hello, my name's Neil Mossy. I'm a development producer helping high achieving creators and performers just like you to get ideas out of your head and out into the world here on YouTube. To prove it, here's footage of me working at BBC television in my 20s. We used landline telephones back then. So let's dive right into my YouTube studio. This is my channel dashboard, but where we want to go is channel, an channel analytics. I can't say it, but I know you want to see my revenues. Let's click on the revenue tab and we'll take a look at the monthly estimated revenue. As I covered on that last 1000 subscribers video, link in the description. My revenue leapt up from $113 all the way up to $190, which was phenomenal for May. It fell down to $168, bumped around the same level and then went boom up to $206. I'm recording this halfway through September. So that $142 is looking very good. That could be good news. Let's take a look at the first of these months, June. Pretty much at the start of the month, we're looking $4, just touch Touching five dollars with some peaks so seven dollars here and then it just slowly increases over time I'm gonna look at some of the causes for that and I'm gonna share them with you as we look at these other months but my RPM which is my revenue per melee which is revenue per thousand views averaged about two dollars fifty four let's scroll down and take a look at my top earning videos so things have changed my big earning video for the first two months that gave me that really massive spike was the Jean-Claude Van Damme interview. In this month that's dropped to second place so that's pulling in $26. What zoomed ahead because summer started here in the UK we actually got some sunshine. People are starting to go out into their gardens. They're looking up this Fiskars Exact that I'm holding up in the thumbnail. It's, a, it's like a weeding thing you push it into the ground pull it and weeds come out now we saw in the last video I don't want to be garden tools guy but my goodness $37 that's more than I actually paid for the weed puller <laughs> so if you want an incentive to get out there and just make videos so that people can see products this could not be a better advert I love the fact that the revenue is more than I paid for the <laughs> for the thing that I'm showing. The same on the third video down, I got $25 for how to change a trimmer line. A trimmer is something you use for edging around the garden. I still don't wanna be garden tools guy, but look at the money it's bringing in. Again, that $25 costs more than the replacement line that I'm showing in the video. My fourth and fifth videos are getting just above $10, which is how to recover a Zoom video and how to get a pack code. These five videos alone account for over $100 of the $168 that I got this month. Well, you can see all my details. You can pause the video if you wanna have a look at how some of the different videos have fared. Let's click on the menu on the top right hand corner and we can go straight to the month of July. And for July, it was a very similar amount of revenue, $166. My RPM has gone up. So I'm getting $3.86 for every thousand views. There's a slight change to my top earning videos. The weed puller has dropped to second place at $26. How to change the trimmer lines, bumped up to 30. Again, we are now right in the middle of summer for these statistics. So those videos are going to do well and I think they're going to drop off as we go into the autumn. How to change mobile networks has gone up from $10 to $17. And there's a first video in the top five that I actually want to do well and I want to niche down on this subject. It's how to recover your Zoom calls. I made a whole video about how to recover a failed Zoom conversation recording. That video is starting to creep up and I really want that video to encourage people to watch more of these videos. So I'm hoping this is where my niche starts to come in. Having said that, I also made a video where I unbox a, an Ikea sunshade, an Ikea parasol. 
and immediately in its first month it's, it's pulling in $13. That was the video where I decided that I need to stop doing Garden Tools Guy videos and actually concentrate more on how to make things for YouTube. So it's mixed feelings there. I'm glad that it's doing well but also I don't want, <laughs> I don't want it to do well. I want these videos that you're watching now to do well. Let's click see more. See more? And this graph at the top shows on a day by day basis how much money each of those top five videos are pulling in. And what's really funny, let's go to the end. Can you see this blue line that just shoots up? It rockets up. That's how to change a streamer line. I think we had hot days then. The views just went through the roof. I'll scroll down so you can see all the statistics and you can pause this or rewind it if you want to go into more detail. Let's now look at August. These are my top five earning videos for August, which was last month. Yes, finally, <laughs> I'm so glad. How to recover your Zoom video is now at the top. Even though we're in the, the middle of summer, a video where I help creators and performers make things and put them out into the world, that is now my top earning video. This is the niche that I really, really want to focus on. And you can see the rates of earning for these top videos are going up. Let's click into more detail now, and I'll just scroll the window across so you can see how much these videos are earning on a day-by-day -day basis. You can see it's all over the place. The interesting one to watch is the blue line, uh, recover your Zoom video files. So I really think the YouTube algorithm is finding viewers for my Zoom call video. These are the statistics for the month of August. I got a grand total of $206 up by 24% on the previous month. $206, it's insane. After two years of trying to become monetized, partly due to a high uh, CPM which is how much advertisers pay per thousand monetized playbacks and that meant that my RPM which is revenue per thousand views overall on my channel that's gone up so obviously I'm delighted this has happened but what happened let me show you my channel and you might be able to spot why this is my home page but if I click on the videos tab I'm gonna scroll down and then I'm gonna scroll back up again and I'll show you what happened this is pretty much what my thumbnails used to look like I made them using Adobe Spark. Can you notice something? I think they look elegant. I think they look really good and clear. But my 11 year old son, he was looking at my channel and he said, Dad, your, your channel looks really boring. And I, I took umbrage at this and I thought, yeah, it doesn't look like the kind of videos an 11 year old would want to watch. He said, no, no, Dad, they look really boring. Can't you put a bit of color on them? And I thought, well, no, because these are elegant. They are stylish. They <laughs> They're legible. Because he watches a lot of YouTube, I started creeping a bit of colour into my thumbnails and you can see it sort of creeping in around here. My thumbnails start to become wackier. I'm using different fonts. I'm still not using the colour yet on the text. He said, Dad, they're so boring. Put some colour on. So then I started really going for it with the colour and you can see the thumbnails becoming more and more colourful and brighter. And some of them are doing really well. Some of them are bumping along. But generally, I think the biggest thing that's given me an up push in views and therefore revenue is that I make my YouTube thumbnails a lot brighter. Dare I say garish. I try to make them more jolly and more impactful. So I, I put fewer words on my thumbnails. I make the words big and only put a single word on them. If I've got a logo for the thing I'm talking about, I try to get that on the thumbnail as well. And so they're not very elegant. They're not very demure. They leap out more. I think that might be the biggest thing that made my views go up in August. I made my thumbnails more eye-catching. So the biggest thing I've learned from this month is to just go nuts with experimenting with your thumbnails. And if you really want to see what the YouTube algorithm thinks about your thumbnails, you can see what the AI is doing when it scans your thumbnail. There's a link in the description below. I've got it up here. It's cloud.google.com. All you have to do is to drag your thumbnail into this window here. Google Cloud will tell you what it thinks about your thumbnail. So let's take my latest thumbnail. Let's drag this onto here. I am not a robot. We don't have crosswalks in the UK. We have zebra crossings. What the API is doing now is scanning the thumbnail. This is what YouTube does. It uses this machine to detect if there are any issues or whether or not it's a good thumbnail. And you can see here that joy is very unlikely, sorrow very unlikely, anger is likely, surprise is very likely, and the confidence 
is 29%. Now, obviously we don't know the weight that YouTube places on anger surprise. Maybe it wants to throw some angry thumbnails in there. Let me show you how it compares with my previous thumbnail. Now look at the difference with this one. It scored very lightly on the joy. I don't know why it judges whether you're wearing headwear, but the Google Cloud has assessed my confidence in this face at 93%. That tells me that it's measuring confidence for a reason. Maybe high confidence could be one of the metrics it uses. These emotions might be emotions that YouTube wants to serve to the viewers. Having anger or surprise might not necessarily be a bad thing. It might be one of the four emotions that it's chosen to serve and maybe it mixes it up so that you get a range of them. Who knows? Your thumbnail is absolutely crucial. So you might want to try this just to see how your different thumbnails compare. What I do know is that my revenue went up over three months. Let's put that to the test. Here on screen now is what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. And down here is the video where I go through all of my revenue for the first month when I became YouTube monetized. If you want more of this, click on my big face and hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit thumbs up if you've hit the end of the video. I, I think that's 56% confidence. <laughs>